Now, if you've always wanted to hit a natural draw shot with your golf swing, quite like a Rory McIlroy or Tommy Fleetwood, well, I'm gonna show you exactly in this video how you can just go and step up to a ball and hit that draw shot naturally. So we're gonna get right into how we're gonna build a swing that's gonna produce that shot consistently. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J-Chan Golf. Let's get right into it and how we're gonna hit that draw. So to hit a natural draw shot, so you just walk up to the ball, hit it, and that ball draws. It's kind of like Rory McIlroy, for example. Not trying to draw it, you just hit it, ball turns out there and draws. There are certain things you need to do in your goal swing to be able to produce that. So what we need to see in there, we need to see golfers, as they're turning back to the top of their backswing, we need to see their hands go more in and around their body so they're getting more depth at the top of the backswing. One massive common thing I see with players who struggle to hit a draw shot is they will be turning in their backswing and their hands will start getting very disconnected away from the body. Now, when we get disconnected away from the body and we turn up to the top of the backswing, we get in a place which is called a lack of depth to the top of the backswing. That just means depth is relationship to where your hands are to your body. The deeper my hands are, the more behind me they are. So if I'm a golfer who gets them too high, I'm gonna turn in my downswing, the the hands are going to be chucked way out in front of me, I'm going to be swinging out to win. But if I get these hands more connected in my takeaway, I'm having them more kind of almost brushing my right thigh as I go back and I continue my rotation up to the top of the backswing, you can see my hands are nicely deep behind me. So when my hands are nicely deep behind me, now I can turn in the downswing and that club is more going to travel a bit more into out on the golf ball because they're not going to be flying so far out in front of me. If we see some again like Rory as he's turning back he'll have he has very very deep hands on top of the backswing we that just primes us for that club to naturally fall into that path i see so many golfers who are trying to naturally hit a draw shot and that be their normal shot they'll begin up to the top of their backswing in kind of like a high position here not much depth and they'll be doing this which is a massive no they'll be dropping their right shoulder down towards the ground now yep you can see if i drop my right shoulder down towards the ground i end up one, swinging more on the inside and I shallow the golf club a little bit. But if I move this golf ball here so you could see, I'm going to drop that shoulder down towards the ground and from here. Now, my low point is going to be behind the golf ball. I'm going to ground it out early because, of course, if I've moved my right shoulder down, I'm going to reach the ground earlier because my right side has gotten closer to the ground. And two, so I'm going to hit fats and fin shots. So secondly, my path is definitely going to get very inside, but I'm going to have no rotation to where I could draw the golf ball, but I could snap hook it a lot of the times. So that's normally done by golfers who don't get the depth up there and they don't even see the depth as being an option because they don't know about it. Depth up there, so getting the hands going nicely in and around, rotate up to the top of the backswing will give you that depth. So you can turn down and just rotate like normally in the downswing and shift, club will naturally be falling into out. So you need that depth at the top of the backswing. And how we get depth here, guys, is absolutely hand path going in, rotate up to the top of the backswing. Don't just pick the arms up. We need to rotate up to the top. That will get those hands nice and deep. I've heard a lot of guys before, when I tell them this, they'll be thinking, oh wow, so that explains when I try to get all that big shoulder turn in there, I start hitting the ball quite drawy. Exactly it, because the hands get deeper behind you. So. Hand depth is massive. We don't, we want to be doing it that to be able to naturally produce a draw. We don't want to be tilting the shoulders back. Now, other than that, that's a really good one to do and really good one to feel. But I want to also get a golfer to be able to train the movement correctly. So I want to be able to have a drill in there to do as well. Preferably a drill without a golf ball and a drill with a golf ball. Because I do like the turn up there, but I want some feedback for that as well. I want some feedback because we need feedback to be able to have a good structured practice and get a swing change in there quite nicely. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna walk over to here. So I'm gonna walk over to this side of my netting. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get up to the top of my backswing. So I'm gonna face the back of it. I'm gonna have about a half a club's distance away from me and the wall. That will change depending on your height and your build. I'm gonna get up to the top of the backswing and I'm gonna tap chip with my club here. So you can see, for me to touch this with my club and stay in my posture, I have to get very deep with my hands. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep this on the netting as I turn down. So this is the building portion of this video. How are we gonna build this swing? You can see me doing this. That club is traveling on the inside. I'm still keeping my left shoulder down. I'm not doing this. We don't wanna cheat it by doing this because that will get your club Definitely on the inside, but you'll hit the ball awfully and snap hook it from doing it. We don't want that right shoulder dropping. We want to turn our body 
whilst keeping this club on that wall, leaving your hands and arms there whilst you turn the rest of your body. So once we've got that drill there with the wall enough, that's really gonna be something that you can do a lot at home. Now, if let's say the wall is a brick wall, and you don't wanna damage your club, just flip it over, then really slide it down there. So that's a brilliant one to do without a golf ball. So with a golf ball, we know we're getting our more depth, which is brilliant. What we can do from there is an avoidance drill. So if you've watched a good few of my videos, you know I like these avoidance drills. I like alignment sticks and doing drills with them because they give you brilliant feedback. So how are we gonna do this in relationship to hitting more of a natural draw shot? So I'm gonna put this in the ground just behind myself or my golf ball here. So I've got it about half a club's distance away and half a club's distance in front. So I know one, I'm gonna be getting my more depth at the top of the backswing. So that's really gonna influence me, be the biggest influencer on what my swing path is gonna be. So whether I'm gonna be more on the inside or have it higher, be more on the outside, that's gonna help me with this. But two, obviously I've been practicing with my wall, really grinding that feeling. And this one here, this is just gonna give me that extra encouragement to keep it on the inside. So if you're someone who's swung over the top for a long time and you're wanting the opposite ball flight, you're wanting to build a draw in there, you have to do a draw like this or do a drill like this. A lot of you out there might be already hitting the draw after seeing those few little bits. But if you're over the top, you need still that extra encouragement to be in there. So getting those hands going nicely in and around. Good turn up to the top of the backswing, full turn. And then staying there, going underneath the stick. And we're going to be hitting more of a natural drawy shot. So that would really have a nice good draw on the ball ball and then it's just a matter of reps from there guys we need to rip it out from here to really get there nicely so once all this is done and once we've really got a good and nice amount of practice in there ultimately we need to just be getting that nice depth up there that's the most important thing from this video for sure that a lot of golfers are missing from here look at rory at the top of the backswing tons of depth at the top of the backswing his hands are really nicely deep and then he keeps his posture going down which keeps him on path nicely and then he rotates through the ball well through impact to keep everything nice and square so have that nice depth have a drill there to do without a golf ball and have a drill here to do with a golf ball and you'll be on your best bet. So let's hit one more, get nice and deep. So I'm gonna get the hands going in and around, good full rotation up to the top of the backswing and then I'm just missing the stick, turning through. So guys, that's exactly how you build a draw golf swing and it's not really as complicated as a process as you may think. The main important one is get connected from the start of the swing, hands going in and around, rotating full rotation up top to get the depth we need the rotation because that's what gets the hands going back behind there that's the main key here and this is the main reason why i see golfers struggle with a draw i once had a golfer come to me in a lesson where this was the shot he was trying to hit big strong guy he was had terrible back pain because he would get up to the top up into this high position and his instructor would tell him to drop the shoulder to get on the inside to hit that draw ruined his lower back doing it so make sure those hands are where you want to if you want to hit the shot. Conversely, if you want to hit a fade shot, hands higher, rotate the downswing, club goes out on its own. Same thing back there, club goes inside on its own. Get a drill without the golf ball, wall drill is brilliant, drill with an avoidance drill and you'll be on your way to get in there. Enough reps in there and then we'll be hitting that draw shot in no time there guys. So nice and sweet one here, really straightforward and what you've got to do. So if you like the video, make sure you Click like, it helps my channel out a ton, helps get this out to more golfers out there who need this info also. And if you want more golf instruction just like this, click the subscribe button and hit that bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So guys, really quite straightforward in how you build that draw swing. After this, it's just time. Put that time in and you're gonna get what you want out of it with that shot shape.